I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. Function in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai.
Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait! <gasps> the lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Huh? What's this about a contract? What contract? Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night!
It's Yukari! Are you awake? Good morning! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go! We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're gonna love it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Me? I don't know, I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey! About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm! Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. 
I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? It's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt! What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm, there's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey. You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? What? Uh, last night? Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! Listen! I just met him yesterday and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've gotta go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not... Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year, I can feel it! Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back.
I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. He's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask?
then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Happening to me. <laughs> hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability and you will require my help to do so. I only ask 
one thing in return. That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. Till we meet again. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Welcome back.
How is he? The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for- Right. Be careful. <sighs> Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain! We have to get out of here, now! Hurry, downstairs! We'll lead through the back door! Wait! Take this, just in case. Okay, let's go! Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving! Hurry! Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. You gotta be kidding me! It climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait! That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here goes.
earth was that? Is it over? Ah! It's still moving! No! Get away from me! Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please, remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. 
Um, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that... I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But no, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out. That's why I'm going to Gekokan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Thanks, but still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Bye!
There you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Uh, I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room, why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is. But I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up. But wasn't that... Oh, never mind.
How are you? We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms. Yet is bound. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then. See you later.